Tis the season. That's a phrase we hear a ton of this time of year, right? Tis the season to participate in consumerism, to show how much you really love someone. Because the only real way to show the abstraction of love is to spend something based in nothing, wrap it up in decorative paper, so everyone knows it's real. Tis the season to get chastised for saying Merry Christmas. And yeah, if you don't celebrate Christmas, that can get obnoxious, right? But it isn't the Crusades. So if you don't really celebrate the holiday, tell that person what you celebrate or what you'd like to be greeted with. Tis the season to be more empathetic, to educate people and offer some redemption. Actually, that's what all seasons should be about. And while we're distracted with how much the holidays is going to put into the debt of the consumerist cycle, or what greeting your barista should say to you, our rights get stripped away one by one. Tis the season that actual freedom becomes a thing of the past. The first thing on the chopping block is our internet freedoms. Sure, yes, I have endlessly talked about how important it is to keep net neutrality and regulate internet service providers like Verizon and Time Warner to charge consumers for that utility, but that didn't really stop the Federal Communications Commission to revoke net neutrality in Title II in the name of profits. Chairman of the FCC, Ajit Pai, claims it's because he wants the government to stop micromanaging the internet service providers and give people choices over their internet. But if the ISP weren't like children that keep putting cherry bombs in the internet anthill, the government could trust them enough not to micromanage them. This is a reminder, if you like having content like this show, Act Out with Eleanor Goldfield, Redacted Tonight with Lee Camp, Democracy Now!, or even The Ben Shapiro Show on the internet, you're going to want to keep net neutrality in place. What this does is let companies like Verizon and Comcast charge whatever they want for quicker access to independent content and sites they don't particularly care for. Sure, they can't censor it, but... They can't slow it down to a crawl. You know, slow, slow down videos and websites, pages, profiles, all those things will be slowed down to a crawl to make it much more difficult to get that content. And yes, some people will say that it's not being blocked off the internet, but have you interacted with another human being before? I mean, most people don't have the patience to wait for something to load for more than like a second or two. If it takes longer than two seconds, you might as well set your computer on fire because the rest of the day is ruined and wasted. Okay, we're all on a very tight schedule to watch cat videos and Star Wars memes this holiday season. If, if the FCC wants to give more control over to the corporate sector, they should start a fund called People's Patience for Profits.